Hello everyone, welcome to Precision Playthings. Today we are going to go ahead and unbox and review the Aang Scientist kit and uh, the manufacturer of this kit is Ekta. So this is the first time I am reviewing something like a science kit. So the Aang Scientist kit over here from Ekta, it says you could learn magnetism, static electricity and things about clouds. So let us go ahead and check whether all the items that has been mentioned over here is available inside the box. We will go ahead and check whether we will be able to do all the following experiments mentioned over here. So let us go ahead and un unbox it. There are three separate kits including manuals for everything. So this will be the part one of Eng Scientist kit and we will learn about magnetism. Let us check how good these experiments are. So I have gone ahead and opened up the magnetism kit. So we do have some iron filings, some plastic tubes with some uh, pins. We do have some magnets, some lodestone and some clay as well. And we do get four pieces of cardboard, a plastic cup and the instruction manual and a bag, plastic bag as well. Start with experiment one. So we are using a horseshoe magnet. So the experiment one over here says, use the horseshoe magnet to pick up different objects around your house to see what materials are magnetic. This isn't a really powerful magnet but it does go ahead and hold these iron filings. So the conclusion of this experiment says metals such as iron, steel and nickel stick to magnets. Metals such as aluminium and all non-metals do not stick to this magnet. So we are moving on to the second experiment. This is like trying to make the upper magnet float. It does float, but uh, let me go ahead and use two pencils. Okay, using two pencils does work. So what this experiment shows is like the light poles ripple and uh, the opposite poles attract. Let us move to the third experiment. So we are picking up some iron fillings using a ring magnet. So let us go ahead and use this plastic cup. So it does go ahead and stick to the magnet. We are going to go ahead and use the lodestone. The iron fillings can be picked up by both the ring magnet and the lodestone but unfortunately I am not able to pick up any iron fillings with the lodestone. See it does not stick. I feel like there are no magnetic properties on this stone. We are moving to experiment number 4. Let me go ahead and place a ring magnet and over that the cardboard. Now let me go ahead and do it parallelly. Put a horseshoe magnet, then go ahead and uh, place the bar magnet over here. They have asked to go ahead and tap the piece of the cardboard gently. So this is the horseshoe magnet, let us go ahead and tap that as well. Experiment 4 is complete, let us move to experiment 5. So let me go ahead and draw a face on the cardboard. Okay, And went ahead and drew a face on the cardboard. And uh, they are asking me to go ahead and tape this side. Let me go ahead and tape this. So I am just moving around the magnet. It says the magnet doodle toys work this way. Well, just uh, I do not say this is an experiment but just in like an activity for kids. So we are moving to experiment number 6 where we use this tubing and the pipe as a compass. 
So let us see does this work. So we are stroking the head of the pin to the bar magnet 30 times. I don't know whether this tape will be waterproof. I'm trying to make sure that uh, this is going to be waterproof. So if the water enters this tube, I think the experiment is not going to be successful. Okay, let me go ahead and fill this bowl with water. I'm going to go ahead and drop these pins, make sure it is tight. So now it is exactly both the pins are like facing towards north. So this is the first time I'm doing the science experiment. So actually it does work. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next experiment. So now we are going to go ahead and uh, use this bar magnet for the experiment. We are attaching the magnet to the middle of the dish. So again, let me go ahead and shift this. Let us try even in this small bowl. Does it go ahead and shift the poles? Yes. It does go ahead and slowly shift at, as there isn't enough space over here to turn around that easily. It does take a little bit of time. But let me go ahead and shift this completely the north pole towards the south. Let us see how much time this is going to take. Yeah, it does move. Oh, that was really fast. So the eight experiment is using the same uh, type of pins and uh, stroking them with the bar magnet. And these are all the eight experiments that we could do with the magnetism kit. So this is nothing but like a review book where all your science experiments could be noted down. So we almost did all the seven experiments with the given kit and uh, almost 90% of the time these experiments came out really well. So this magnetism will be part one of the Seng Scientist series and the rest of the two kits within the box are for static electricity and tornadoes and clouds. So for part two and part three do subscribe to our channel Precision Playthings and do follow us on Facebook and Instagram for any updates on STEM toys and educational toys as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.